Hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right today I'm in Alexandria. Uh, Alexandria is an ancient town uh, on the north Mediterranean coast of Egypt. Uh, it's a beautiful coastal town and I'm going to show you the views now. So you've got the city here and as it walks around it goes right around to the other side of the bay and that's where I'm going now uh, next. I'm going to the citadel which is a new fort that's been built. Before that was there, there was a lighthouse that was there right at the end of the bay to guide the ships in. Uh, very, very famous, one of the ancient wonders of the world. So I'm going to quit in here and I'm going to explain why uh, my videos are slightly different in format than most of the other ones. And it's actually Egypt itself. Um, when I first got here to Cairo, I was downtown and I started filming. And within 20 seconds of trying to make a video, I got stopped by the police and said, delete the footage. And to be honest, I've had quite a few problems every time I get my camera out in different cities the police are either staring at me um, or they are literally telling me to stop filming so I'm going to do my video slightly differently I'm going to cut in and kind of fill you in with some background detail here where I can film without anybody you know uh, telling me off in the streets so as you can see I got to Alexandria um, it's absolutely brilliant and basically the whole city is on the on the coastal front okay it does go back but majority of like the what's happening is on the on the seafront okay there's and as you can see it's in a cove like a bed but as you can see people come down here fishing people come out down here to relax it's a beautiful coastal the only thing is the traffic unfortunately very very busy with traffic over here is the this is the famous uh, museum the library uh, it's been rebuilt recently it is still closed at the moment so i'm not sure i'm about to go today so what I did, I jumped in a taxi, which was an Uber, which I would really recommend. If you're going to be here in Egypt, use Uber. Do not try and negotiate with taxi drivers, they'll just rip you off. You just use Uber, unless you're in obviously a town where there is no Uber. But I've been in three different places now and they're, they're everywhere. When I said I got a taxi to the Citadel, I didn't actually get a car, I actually got a motorbike. Uber here in Egypt, they do motorbike taxis. And actually, I must admit, it's quite exciting. Um, the motorbikes are not like Vietnam, the small ones. They all look like big Harley types. So you're quite comfortable. And it was quite exciting flying through the Alexandria streets. And I'll show you some video footage now of it. It was pretty good. Right, so I've just got myself a McDonald's. And now I'm heading off to the Citadel. Well, I'm gonna take an Uber, but we're gonna take a scooter Uber. So this should be fun. Just gotta find the guy now. Oh, I think I found him, he's over here. So I got a taxi to the Citadel and you kind of have to walk the last bit and it's really nice. It's you know quite a nice um, like walk up. There's a big compound wall around the outside and then you have to go through security. And I got my Canon camera in my hand and as soon as he saw it, it was like, no, no, no. The guy on the security was like, no, 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 you can't bring that in here. And I didn't really, he didn't speak English. Anyway, there's another lady and she come over and she kind of took the, gently took the camera out of my hand looked at it and then went oh no that's okay because it was just normal what looks like it does look like a normal camera it just looks like a point and shoot actually a Canon G7X is as good as a DSLR but they don't know that so yeah so anyway thankfully she kind of told him it's okay he's allowed to take it in um, and pretty much everywhere you'll go in Egypt any of all the sites it is quite difficult to record any video footage you're allowed to take photos video footage is quite hard. I did manage to get some, as you'll see now. There is also a really ancient library that's been there quite a long time and it's been rebuilt uh, and it's kind of one of the highlights of the city unfortunately when the day I went it was closed it just wasn't open I couldn't get in so a bit frustrating and it was really hard to get any good photos from the outside because the whole compound is was closed so 
I, I managed to get close to it, but yeah, it, it just wasn't open, unfortunately. So I'd love to have seen that, but unfortunately I didn't. One of the other recommendations I would make is to check into the Union Hotel in Alexandria. It's an old hotel, don't think it's gonna be five star, but it's functional. The reason you book this particular hotel is the view. You get a seafront view for 25 US dollars a night, um, which, I, which works out at 375 Egyptian pounds, which to be honest, it is quite expensive for what I normally pay, but where the location is, it is phenomenal. And you get a balcony you can sit on and just watch the world go by. It is unfortunate with the traffic, but I guess that's part of the city now. And, and the views are incredible. You can see right down to the Citadel and right to the other side of the bay. I really enjoyed um, just sitting there watching, you know, watching life go by in Egypt. It was, it was a real highlight of Egypt, actually. The hotel itself is pretty basic. It is only a fan room, but you can just open the, open the balcony door and you get a nice breeze in. Um, obviously the noise, but you know, if you want that view, then it could be 100, 150 pounds if you want like a really nice hotel. So probably not worth paying the extra money, I don't think. I only stopped there one night and I think that's enough. Uh, then I moved to the Alexandria Transit Hostel, which is set back a little bit, um, but the, the rooms are slightly better. And to be honest, it was slightly cheaper. It was about $20 a night. But don't expect to come to Alexandria and kind of get $10 a night hotels. That just doesn't exist in Alexandria. They are quite expensive. So getting from Cairo to Alexandria, I took a taxi to the Gateway Cairo bus station. It looks really modern on Google Maps, but actually when you get there, it's kind of a bit run down. It's almost eerie. I got there quite early in the morning. It's almost a bit eerie, to be honest. It was a bit strange. I think most people take the train to Alexandria. And, I, you know, you could do that, but I, because of time restraints for me and my teaching, I'm an online teacher, so I need to take the bus. It just worked out better. Uh, um, I wish I could have dealt the train, but yeah, I, I just couldn't. The price was 80 Egyptian pounds. It took about three hours. When you get to Alexandria bus station, they'll drop you a few kilometers outside the city. So you need to get a little mini bus. Costs about three to five Egyptian pounds. It won't drop you exactly outside your hotel, but it's only gonna be a short walk. So as I'm an endless traveler, you know, one, one bag traveler, it's not really difficult for me to walk half a kilometer, even in 36 degree heat. Uh, I don't travel with a lot of stuff, as you guys know. So overall, I really enjoyed my time in Alexandria. I think one of the best things is just to walk up and down the promenade, get a coffee on the front. I think it's just a, it is just a city just to relax and, you know, just taking the views, taking the atmosphere. It's not a place where you go necessarily to do loads of stuff. It's just sort of a place to kind of see a few things and just chill out, to be honest. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a bit shorter than my normal videos, but I'm doing my best to try and film here as best I can. Um, my next place is Haggadah. I've got an overnight bus. It's going to take 10 hours, so that'll be interesting. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button, and I'll see you next time.